like you know obviously I do have sex for work so there's a lot more that goes into it it's not just some like random one night stand hookup or you know we get tested we have like extensive boundary there's and consent script. talks yeah like there's like a whole thing to it right so if I'm gonna have someone I mean have sex with someone in my personal life they also need to for my safety the safety of my coworkers, and for them as well have those same standards of testing and on top of that I do have herpes and that's something that I obviously want to tell someone ahead of time before doing anything sexual with them I want them to have all the knowledge oh. and have Down, downstairs huh downstairs both yes okay um Hmm. Have you told the guy who you've been dating for four months? Mm -hmm. He knows? Yeah. But like, wow. that's the thing. I want those people to be able to know, okay. have the right. information about herpes, and be able to make an informed decision on, on what, if they would like to or not. Because can, can I ask you a question? Did, mm -hmm. Do you think you got it on set? Well, I know for a fact that I, like I said earlier, I got cold sores, HSV-1, on my lips and stuff. Um, when, from When you were, like, younger Like, when I was a little, yeah, I was yeah. in, like, kindergarten. Um, but I kindergarten. Think I got it on my uh, vagina because of the porn industry. Because of, of how little it's talked about. Um, sure. You know, because we don't test for it, but people don't wow. tell you that. You know, and they don't say, hey, I have herpes. I don't have an active outbreak we're shooting this scene, your agents don't tell you, directors don't tell you. And Damn. when you're young and inexperienced and you don't know the right questions to ask, you don't know. And for me personally, I thought I had just had a rip or a cut or something, and a director actually looked and was like, oh, you have a herpes outbreak. And I had no idea. Does that... Wow. Can you still be in the industry if you have, like... So, yes. So they don't test... So the reason why they don't Wait, test... it's not even that... Like, even if you don't test, but like you said, a director saw and, and noticed, like, so yeah, it's not just you were not disclosing, they know. Do you disclose to the people you shoot with that? Mm, it's not really talked about, but I you don't disclose, you don't tell them. Mm, it's like, no, she does not tell them the person she's having sex with on sets set that she has her piece. That is what is happening here. See, I know. It's like a really weird thing, right? Wow. Weird? No, that's criminal. That's, I don't think yeah. that's criminal. It's something it, it, that... No, it's literally it criminal. No, yes, it's, it's criminal. I think it's something that, like, you accept when you get in the industry, though. Like, you know that people are going to True. have so, STDs. Oh, I get it. Well, you so should tell them. They're taking that, like, they already know when they get into it. So but that's no, no, no. I, it's not. I still think that, Even like, if people it, have a responsibility yeah. to make people aware when they have an active outbreak. Like, I had a scene with a performer, and they, they canceled the <laughs> same day because they had an active outbreak. And, like... No harm, no foul, and mm -hmm. I work with and them again happens all the time. when that, the opera is I mean, gone. Honestly, it's kind of like amazing to me, though, that th there are people in the industry, like, I, once, shouldn't you just be out excised like of the done. industry if you have, yeah. like, isn't, if you have HIV, right, you're done, right? Right, okay. Shouldn't it be the same with herpes? Well, so, so. Apparently I mean, not. It's not, not as bad, It I would guess, destroy the industry. That's why they don't do it. They mm -hmm. would have no well, job. kind of. So with herpes, it's not always sexually transmitted. Like I had said with the thing about the chapstick, I had that since I was a child, and that had nothing to That's do with sex though. at all. That's irrelevant, though. Well, but let me, if finish, work, let me finish. If your work is sex, then. Right, but let me finish. Should. So because it's not something that is inherently sexually transmitted, like. But it is sex. It is sexually transmitted, and if you're in the corn industry and you are having sex for work, work, you should be telling your partner, whomever you're going to engage with, that you do have herpes, whether or not you have an active outbreak. But no, nobody wants to be honest because they know that that person is probably not going to, you know, engage with them. And like this, one of the girls said, it's going to destroy the industry. So this is why they don't push for testing for her piece in that in, in that particular industry, because they know that 99.9% .9 of these um, participants, these uh, stars, corn stars, probably have her piece. Actually transmitted. But I got it from chapstick. But you got you the other one from sex, though. You have two herpes. herpes on your vaginas from sex. Yeah, but Not I had herpes before I ever had it. It doesn't matter. On it to get on your no, genitals. This is some hamster wheel. That, that totally could have happened. You can't reach down there 
What about having unprotected yeah. sex no. with Wait, a so alien saying, who has herpes? But you're saying you Hold can on. give yourself type two herpes on your vagina from your mouth? No, but you no, no. can okay. give yourself HSV but, but one she, on your the, genitals. Is the argument what? that you're saying because there are other vectors with which you can get herpes because of that, it's not as no so the reason why the industry doesn't test for it is because when they were deciding whether or not they were going to test for hsv one the testing is hard and it's not wildly accurate most places will test if you have an outbreak they will swab it but if you don't have an active outbreak a lot of places won't even test you but but you've okay you're telling me that you confirmed i don't know did you take a test no or but you know you have it yeah because i mean it's pretty like the the outbreak whatever um you know you have it hmm. molly says that she was about to do a scene with a guy who knows he has it who had an outbreak mm -hmm. so he canceled the scene i suppose that's nice of him it's shocking to me that you would continue working in the mm -hmm. adult in industry risking other men and women but but so when did you you became uh you got herpes how far into the industry your first year in yeah First month? No, I think. First couple months? Yeah, I started right before COVID though. So it was like, I started in uh, January and then COVID happened in March. And then um, I would say I found out maybe around July or August. So in the six month period after starting wow. adult work, you got genital herpes. Yes. And you've, but mm. you've continued working for a period, another period of three and a half years, right? You said you've right. been working total four years. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it's just in the industry if you have a confirmed case that doesn't bar you from shooting it's currently not don't shoot when they have active outbreaks but like i was saying the reason why they didn't add in hsv testing is because it's the tests aren't necessarily accurate and if but they did that they would the have to yeah, separate don't worry about, don't, but, but, but they would have said that hold on don't worry about the testing you have a a hundred percent confirmed case of herpes we you need not be tested you have herpes right. mm -hmm. you are shooting scenes with men women yes. hmm. do you not have like aside from do you not have a concern about continuing to spread this disease well i would never work with an active outbreak of blister but, right but you still but, okay, can spread it for like a full-blown outbreak there's like a pre it's like it's pre setting yeah, you're shedding before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you could do a scene when you're shedding. I mean. Or afterwards. For me personally, I can tell when I'm going to get an outbreak and I just won't work. But. No, you, well, it's you clearly. Can, though. I mean, within six months of starting in the industry, you got it. So it's clear <laughs> that the women or the men in this industry are not like, even if you're not do, uh, having sex during an active outbreak. You're still you spreading are, it. There is a very there, low chance that it is transmissible, yes. You got it within but, six months of working in the industry. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you think that's low, and you're taking that chance to give it to other people without disclosing exactly. them? Exactly. Why do you think that's right? I never said that. No, but you're doing it, so why are you mm, doing it? Because it's exactly. my fucking job, girl. I got bills to pay. Are you going to wow. say it's just right to just give people a disease? No, and I never said that. But I, I hope they sue you. Wait, wait. Let me just rewind that a little bit. What did she say? disclosing them why do you think that's right i never said that no but you're doing it so why are you doing it because it's my fucking job girl i got bills to pay are you gonna pay so my because it's her effing job and she has bills to pay since when do we where are we only able to make money by spreading our legs as women i'm waiting for it I'm waiting for the answer. Since when can we only make money, earn a living by spreading our legs and having intercourse sex with random people that we don't know for money? I'm still waiting for the answer because this chick here thinks that it's the only way to make money and pay her bills. We all have bills to pay. I have bills to pay, but you don't see me working in the, the adult industry, having an OnlyFans account or standing on some street corner. Now do you? Or many women don't need don't do it. They have they find other ways of employment. But somehow these women, 
think that they're entitled to do this kind of work and spread the diseases at the same time. It baffles me. Okay, let's continue. Industry, you got it. So it's clear that the women or the men in this industry are not like, even if you're not do, uh, having sex during an active outbreak, you are. There is a very there, low chance that it is transmissible, yes. You got it within Wait. six months of working in the industry. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you think that's low and you're taking that chance to give it to other people without disclosing them? Why do you think that's right? I never said that. No, but you're doing it. So why are you doing it? Because it's my fucking job, girl. I got bills to pay. Are you going to pay so my bills? So it's just right <laughs> to just give people a disease? No, and I never said that. But I, I hope they you. Do you she's not, not giving people you don't don't <laughs> taking the she give you her piece? Wait, No, question. I don't do have her piece. Guys, and I fucked her like twice. You guys all fucked, right? You guys said you guys all fucked. So, uh, Wait, can you? What? I am not a lawyer, but for the record, knowing you have an STD slash STI and not informing a partner about it and then proceeding to have sex with them anyway is considered sexual battery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See California Penal Code section 243.4a. Thank yeah. you. So Raven. congratulations, you've committed sexual battery and you're not mm -hmm. going to convince, convince anybody else that it's your, oh, but according to me, according to me, but... When I do it, no, it's wrong. Either way. Never said that it was right. Wait, do you not disclose to, let's say you're not having an outbreak, do you tell the people that you're working with that you have herpes? You see, If they ask, for sure. But it's... But you, yes, you they ask. ask. That's what disclosing means. If disclosing they means you don't ask. ask. Do you disclose the information without <laughs> the other party asking? Jesus. Okay. Donated $69. There are multiple court cases involving million dollar settlements for genital herpes transmissions without disclosure 70% hmm. of cases spread through asymptomatic viral shedding no symptoms a western block test is very accurate Layla and Molly take the test I have taken mm. herpes tests and I don't have herpes so same as mom I took it right out yeah. I got out of porn so well when was Molly, your last shoot no I don't have when herpes I got out of porn, I took my test and that oh. was like Bond donated $69 Wow, wow, wow. Gentlemen, this is what you have to deal with because these same girls here who are in the adult industry having sex, who have herpes, having sex with other people, even if they don't have herpes, they can get it. Most of them have it. Then they're coming home and getting into relationships, coming home to a partner who's not in the industry, spreading it to them. And then that man could potentially spread it to a woman. And we have these women running around, getting into relationships with people and spreading the disease. This is what you have to deal with, gentlemen. This is a caliber of women that we have around here. In the adult industry, doesn't give two hoots about who they're harming with their work who they're harming with the diseases that they're spreading and you are dating them or you ha have them as your partner it's a sad sad situation for men these days i love to hear your comments about this do you think it's okay for a woman in the adult industry to know who knowingly have herpes is not telling the in people she's getting she's sleeping with that she has herpes uh, well, they didn't ask me, so I didn't need to think. And she has this attitude, well, I got bills to pay, so tough. I want to hear from you. Remember to like and share this video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.